Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here, coming at you with the Veer Smith from Ganetto. Uh, obviously, if you don't know him right now, go check him out. Ch link below, uh, fellow content creator and longtime subscriber to the channel. Um, Metachamp, Drapion, and Shadow Drapion, and Shadow Zapdos. I think this team is going to be really interesting. So, I mean, Shadow Zapdos is the first thing that I caught my eye because I'm like, well, that's got to be the greatest answer to Noctowl. Plus, you actually also probably are you're a great answer to like Metacham as well, right? With the, with the drill pecs being a shadow, you're probably going to one-shot that. So it's pr pretty sweet. Really weak to like Galarian Sunfisk, which is why you had to pair it with something like Metacham. Makes sense. And Drapion's a safe swap. I'm interested to see how it is because a couple people have commented about Drapion safe swap as like one of the best safe swaps now to deal with everything that is in the Great League meta. So I'm interested to see how you do here. So Pidgeot lead is a really rough lead here. I'm assuming you got to go into this. Yep. Yeah. Problem with this is, okay, you're gonna get a crunch off. The good news is it's so spammy. If I were them, I'm, if, I was about to say, are they gonna just shield and, f yeah. This is where the only problem is here because they're gonna just go feather dance. I, I wouldn't shield because it's probably just gonna be a feather dance. But now put you in a really tricky situation because Shadow Drapion in this one is so glassy. As you saw, feather dance did so much there. Um, still that damage hurts and they're gonna have to throw here or else you're gonna get an Aqua Tail off. It would have been close. I think they probably could have maybe farmed down, but that's probably good for you. Ooh, you got to let that switch clock come up a little bit here. And now you are hard punished here. Uh, probably got a shield one, or are you going to go two shield and you're going to let it go? Just because, as I was gonna say, you can sh you can live anything with the Metachamp, because Metachamp is just so bulky. Uh, and we're going to go two shield Zapdos here, which I'm worried about that, because I you have no idea what's in the back, right? If it's a Galarian Stunfist, this is already like drawing dead. So yeah, I've got to imagine you have to shield up everything here with Shadow Zapdos, but loaded with energy. Good news is Thundershock goes so fast that you're gonna get so much. Yeah, so now I'm gonna imagine you win CMP here. Yeah, because this thing has got to be it's super attack heavy. Back to back, goodbye Copperguess. We know the Pidgeot's not gonna do much against this, so it just depends what's in the back here. Oh, it's a Trevenant, and I gotta imagine a Drill Pack is probably gonna one shot too from a Shadow. <laughs> Goodbye, and now the Pidgeot, yeah, Pidgeot, oh, come on, take your medicine. So the Shadow Zapdos, it does have a lot of play. Stunfisk, this is where you want to see it if, if it's going to be on a team, because your Drapion really has no matchup. And then Gliscor comes in. Yeah, Gliscor's tricky. You could have maybe thrown an Ice Punch. Because uh, Ice Punch would have been super effective, like double super effective, because it's it's rock, it's a ground and flying, so they probably would have had to shield. But you get alignment here anyways. Poison is resisted. Uh, this is going to be a bait game. Night Slash. If they bait Night Slash, you're in trouble here. Yeah. Because now they can just go straight Earthquake and force you to double shield here. Gonna let this go. And they... Another Night Slash. Oh, I don't like that. I like the first Night Slash bait. I do not like the second Night Slash bait. Gonna get a third one off anyways. I don't know if they're trying for the boost or what. But now we're going to be able to... Probably take switch back here, which is good because you cannot have your Zapdos on a Glaring Stunfisk. And if it's a Zapdos in, I mean, if it's a Glaring Stunfisk in the front, it may be something that your Zapdos will have a good time against in the back. So they're going to have to throw an Earthquake. You can live one. It is the Noctowl. So here we go. These Thundershocks are adding up. I don't know how, this thing is so glassy, so... Does not quite take it out. Building a bunch. Going straight for the Drill Peck instead of the Thunderbolt. Noctowl is just so tanky. Yeah, so it does not even take it out. So you got to go back to back here. I'm wondering if you go... Well, because then I... They shield. And then you win CMP. Oh, that's a rough shield. Because now, as I was about to say, they probably have an Earthquake here. Oh, but they're pretty low, so I think they're just worried that, like, even with a shield, you may just be able to counter down here. Uh, it would have been close. Yeah, that double shield killed them, because then they lost CMP and it just lost so much energy anyways. So, gets the Ice Punch off for the win. So, these are 2600 range battles, so pretty decent um, ELO range. Good lead. Shadow Vic. Uh, not getting out... Yeah, I was say a little slow on the get out. I think, as I say, I think you could probably just go crunch. I mean, uh, Aqua Tail, because I'm guessing they shield. 
they do not shield so never bait good for you <laughs> never bait that's what i always say right as i say i'm surprised you didn't go zapdos because zapdos just would have resisted everything being the flyer and then got to the drop back so fast um I'll tell here, I'm guessing, unless you're trying, unless you read, I mean, both should probably win against Shadow Vec, but those those grass are adding up quickly. But here's where you can just spam these Aqua Tails, and this is where I guess having this as a safe swap isn't terrible, because you generally should be able to hit everything, except for like an Azum roll. Aqua Tail and Crunch are going to be resisted, but everything else is going to be hitting for at least neutral. Flamethrower is going to come here, neutral does okay chip damage. What's in the back? Medchamp. Just doing chip damage here. I'm assuming one drill pack doesn't take it out. Maybe it does though. Maybe we should have banked that move. How much? I'm assuming a drill pack is going to probably take it out from this range. I don't know if I would have taken it out without the ice punch. I'm oh, you both have two shields. So yeah, might as well start shielding up. It's looking like it's a pr ooh. Who runs power up punch? Now it's can. Can it just be an ice punch? Because if it's a nice punch, now it's going to take you out. It's just another power punch. So you're going full power punch, which is not going to be good when you have a super spammy Pokemon like Zapdos. This is going to one-shot, and if they shield, you're going to one-shot it right back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that play by them. If you're going to run power punch, the good first bait, but you can't just go straight. power Unless they're running power punch psychic, but I, I don't love that combo there. Dragonair, this is where everyone's trying to get sneaky with Dragonair being neutral in most situations. Plus a good matchup against Lantern. Like, the Dragon Breath is adding up. These Body Slams are going to hurt too. Like, you'll live it, but it's going to hurt. Yeah, I put you down to that. Like, another Dragon Breath through, which is whatever. If they shield, they could maybe farm here. Yeah, so you got to get out because they can maybe farm. Yeah, shadow on shadow. This is gonna hurt. Like, if you don't shield, this is gonna go. Oh, it's just not. yeah, still in the yellow. They catch on a Reggie. Reggie's interesting here because you're so low. Can they really lock on down here? I was about to say Reggie's an interesting one because you don't have any fast move to 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 just take this out. And you're gonna spam these moves, and they can't just straight lock on down, could they? You have to shield and try for a lock on down. This is why I don't like Reggie switch here. When something's so low, Reggie's not the answer. Now, they are going to get the lock on down, but they're down two shields now. So what good is that? You come in Metachamp. You're going to get one shield here if you want, or you can just go two shield Zapdos, which you look like you're going to. They can maybe get another move off here, another Zap Cannon, just to uh, try and lower your attack is what I would do. They don't even do that, okay? This depends. I was supposed to say now they're coming back in here, which means they're probably their back is probably oh yeah. Nuke it. Let me see this thing get killed. Does a thunderbolt. One shot. It does. Goodbye, Noctowl. Not a good answer to Zapdos, that's for sure. So Noctowl's fun. Um But again, you had good leads here. Drapion. Yeah. Everything's resisted. How much is this Aqua Tail going to be compared to the Sludges? Probably not a ton. And this is why I'm surprised you did not counter a bit more. What I would probably do is I would have countered a bit more on Metachamp to make this much easier range for... Because now you're at, you're at, I was about to say, now you're at a risk of losing switch here, which you cannot do. So this may, if I were them, I would shield this and take you down to the, force you to use your last shield. Yeah. I'd force you to, yeah, and I think you have to. Because you can't have your Zapdos lined up on. It's just a crunch, so you live that and you're going to, oh, oh, CMP. I mean, not CMP, double. Double, yeah, I was about to say, I would have tried to force your last shield over there, and now they got to come in here. Oh, lucky on the switch, so this game is probably over. Good catch. Good catch on your opponent. The good news is, you can probably just, you're going to build up and then catch on your own. Yeah, I was about to say, I wouldn't throw a fire with them, and you know where the catch is coming. The problem is, they're not going to be able to earthquake you twice before you counter an ice punch. 
should be able to counter an ice punch down before they hit you with the earthquake. Yeah, good counting. Pfft, way better than I would have done there. So good counting. This will take it out. Have an ice punch coming out. Ooh. Maybe a seed bomb and you may be able to live it. Yep, throw the move, force a shield. If they're smart, they let this go because the thunder shocks aren't going to take them out. Yep, smart. Uh, now it's a race, and it looks like you're going to win the race. Just so spammy. Good attempt. Good attempt on your opponent to try and catch and get out of what is generally just a pretty hard counter matchup there. That's it. Uh, there were more battles, so I'm sure there was some like losses and stuff in there, but I just uh, didn't want to make like a 20 minute video here. So that's the team. Shadow Drapion is interesting. I've used it a bunch of times in Great League as a safe swap. Very, very glossy. Does have pretty good neutral matchups across the board though. Shazabdos, a ton of fun. Um, but man, if you get lined up against like a Clarence Stunfisk or Bastion on the back, I gotta imagine this team is gonna have a ton of trouble, which is why I would probably try and draw that out with the Shadow Drapion if you lose the lead. Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the thumbs up. Go check them out in the link uh, in the description, and I will see you guys in the next one.